Hi, good morning. Uh, Father Roland on this beautiful uh, second Sunday of Easter on Divine Mercy Sunday. So we'd like to welcome all of you uh, to uh, St. Anthony. I know that uh, we don't have any Mass for you or communion, but just be assured that we are remembering all of you and your families in our prayers uh, during this time. Divine Mercy, yeah, promulgated by Pope John Paul II, was meant to deepen yeah, uh, this uh, love and mercy of Jesus Christ. Yeah? When we say Jesus is love, we can also say Jesus is merciful. And for Pope Francis now, you know, it's really uh, the message of the divine mercy as we experience this, uh, this love of Christ. So today, as we celebrate with great joy, uh, let us become a little more aware of uh, Jesus' presence. Uh, as he said to Thomas, uh, Thomas, you have believed because you have seen. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Huh? So as Christians, as living stewards and disciples of Christ, huh, we are called to share this message of joy and love to our families, uh, the people that we encounter during this time of the coronavirus. So again, we'd like to uh, welcome and as we celebrate this uh, Divine Mercy Sunday and we extend to all of you this uh, message from Maui, Aloha and Maui Nakoi. Good morning. Happy Easter season. We have 50 days to celebrate the joy of Easter, even in trying circumstances. I, I miss all you guys, and uh, I know you miss each other, so we have to pray for each other and be with each other in spirit and support each other and look forward to the time when we can all come back together and I can get up there and tell you, thanks for being here, thanks for listening. Aloha. Good morning. Uh, happy second Easter Sunday, uh, Divine Mercy Day. Thank you for joining us, and I hope the Lord does have great mercy on us and helps us through this pandemic that we are enduring. And we pray for you and we thank you for your generosity. Please stay with us and stay at it. Thank you. Okay, we are here hanging in there. We hope that you are also able to hang in there, finding your strength from the Lord, from his promise of mercy, from his promise of his love. We are all one community here after all, even though we're temporarily separated. And we do also remember every day to pray for one another, including all of you. 